Welcome. I know I look tired. I didn't sleep as much as, you know, was recommended by doctors, but I'm up. It is currently about 9.30 in the morning. It is Cinderella day. If you've not seen my previous two videos where I have done photo shoot days, I have been both Ray from Star Wars and Ariel. We get up early, we get dressed, we spend the whole day in costume meeting little kids. We use a lot of disinfectant. I did Cinderella about a week ago for the first time and I loved it and she's super fun and really chill compared to Ariel, which I like, even though I really like how bubbly Ariel is. So I'm gonna go hop in the shower and I will see you when I'm clean. I have washed my hair, I have washed the me. I'm going to blow my hair dry and then style it because I do my own updo for Cinderella. I am not a hair tutorial person. This is a hairstyle I stole from somebody else. I will link the video below because I don't remember the name right now, but it's great, super easy, and right up my alley of ability. I'm going to use a big brush, a little roller brush, and a detangling brush while I'm drying my hair. I will bring you back once my hair is dry and my bangs look cute. It is 10 minutes later and my hair is now dry, at least to the point that I need it to be. Um, my bangs are rounded, my curling iron is plugged in. You do not need a curling iron for this hairstyle, but my bangs have gotten kind of long and I haven't gotten them trimmed. I've got two foam donuts, headband, a bunch of bobby pins. Um, I'm going to start working on that. Um, I'm going to time lapse you. It is now 10.30. I have an hour before I have to leave. I'm going to poke the husband because he got to sleep longer than me because beauty standards are not as high for men. So this is what I use for Cinderella. It feels very mermaid, but it's not. It's like my highlighty one. I blend with this one. I use this in the crease, and then these two are like the main part of my lid um, that really give it like a blue pop. That's what it looks like before uh, mascara and eyeliner and all that good stuff. I use that. Just put your hand behind it, right? That's what they do. For my eyeliner and then just a bunch of mascara. Just in case you're curious, the amount of foundation cover-up type makeup that I'm wearing, this is what it looks like before I blend it. So my face is done. I use that as my primer and this as my uh, finishing spray. They are both NYX. They both are cute pink. For Cinderella, I decided to go kind of uh, soft with the makeup. Not light, I'm wearing a lot of makeup, but it's more 50s era makeup. My eyebrows aren't very dark. They're very soft and kind of rounded and they're hidden under my hair anyway. Very light foundation to kind of wash me out. I only put blush down here. They used to kind of contour with it and it's not very dark. The only thing where I broke the rules of what Cinderella actually looks like is my eyeshadow because when little girls see princesses they want to see, you know, what they think an adult looks like but also recognizable as the princess. So I go for the very like blue eyeshadow. Also in pictures when I don't wear eyeshadow, I look like I don't feel well. Eye makeup's very important. Especially with Cinderella where I'm kind of hoping the rest of my face is just sort of washed out. Because you know how like when she turns, I mean she's animated, but when she turns, her chin will like disappear into her face. They just didn't draw the line because she's just that pale. So kind of hoping for that effect, but not too much. I, I do want a chin. But 15 minutes before we have to leave, I am going to get into my pantyhose. This is what I wear under my dress in lieu of a corset because it's not a real corset dress, but she would have worn one. It gives me the right shape, looks really nice. It's a little snug, but it makes me look good. I would say this is another three or four inches of height. So the first thing I do when I get in the car is hit it on the ceiling because I'm five foot 10. You know, first thing you gotta do, try to ruin all your work. Here's Avery. Hi. He's cute. We made it to the studio. Um, everything is all set up. I'm going to give you the, uh, the grand tour of all the beauty and the princess dresses that we have available for the littles and the presents because Hope and Brooke always get us presents because they're nice people. Also donuts. I've got my costume on. We had some Burger King. We'll have kids here in about 30. Thank you. It's always good to have help. I like him. Look at his hat. What a nice hat. I feel taller. <gasps> I should show the camera my shoes. They have, um quite a heel on them and I got them on sale. 
Yeah, yeah. thing she said she went I coachman and it was so cute I'm the coachman, like in sports ball <laughs> Avery's not a, a sports ball I'm not a sports ball either I'm a princess we saw the twin sisses I love them so much they're so cute they came to Ariel they're like the most chatty little kids that you've ever met they'll tell you everything and they talk to me about princesses which is like literally my most favorite thing any kid does if you meet a princess just be like hey do you know uh, so and so it's really nice it gives you something like to talk about yes it is time to go home now i am out of my costume i have on my new my new Cinderella shirt. Avery has on his new look Cinderella at that, shirt. Look at that. We saw lots of adorable princesses. They were all very cute and sweet and adorable. We are packing up. This is where our backdrop was. It's all gone now. And that's Hope. She's our photographer. She is the nicest. Thank she you. brings donuts. I do. Yes. We made it home. I have a happy meal. I have I have a Scarlet Witch toy from my friend Pippa. We saw a total of seven princesses. And there was and they one were itty bitty adorable. prince. Oh, there was, he was a little baby. He was so cute. He was about this big. I referred to him as a pumpkin. Halloween's coming up next. I'm working on some projects. I will share them with you. Thank you for being here. I will see you in the next video. Be kind to yourself. Have a great, big, beautiful tomorrow. My back hurts. And my knee.